What's going on guys, Randy back with another video and today we're going to be doing a review on the Green Biscuit. Not the Green Biscuit Snipe, just the regular Green Biscuit. And uh, I'm going to be telling you guys the pros and cons to having a Green Biscuit, um, what I like and don't like about the Green Biscuit. So let's get right into it. So a few things that I do dislike about the Green Biscuit is it is a little bit lighter than an actual uh, regulation puck. So when you're stick handling with this versus stick handling with a puck on like a uh, slippery surface like the ice or on a shooting pad or something it's a little bit different um, you could definitely feel it if you instantly switch but if you switch from this like practicing today and then practicing tomorrow with a regular puck you pretty much won't feel the difference um, another thing is, is you can't really shoot with these um, they're basically meant for just stick handling if you do shoot it um, and it does hit the crossbar or something it does have the possibility of breaking or not working correctly so uh, those are two things that I really found out that um, I don't like about the green biscuit, the regular green biscuit that is. And um, a few good things is it's way better than just stick handling with a regular ball or a um, golf ball or any type of just normal ball. This makes sure that you are practicing normal stick handling and uh, keeping your stick on the ice when using it. Uh, you can also use this for passing which is another great technique to use. Um, I like to use it when I do pass to just to uh, help the feel of stick handling and passing with a real puck instead of a ball. Alright guys, so uh, we're going to test out the difference between the green biscuit and a regular puck with how far it slides on concrete. Just to give you guys an idea of what we are, um, what concrete it is, it's like a basketball court so it's not really that rough of a surface so let's see how these uh, hold up. So we're going to start off with the actual puck just to see how far it'll go, and then we'll do the green biscuit. So that's how far the puck went from the natural spot. Uh, let's do the green biscuit now. So as you can already tell, the green biscuit does go a lot further than the normal puck on the concrete, which is what it's supposed to do. The green biscuit is supposed to help simulate uh, an ice-like movement with a puck. Um, on certain surfaces it's supposed to be on all surfaces so any rough surface like the street or the sidewalk but um it definitely does do a lot better than the puck does so let's try and do one more just backhand to show you guys how much further it can go than the puck so we'll start off with the regular puck on a small backhand from here and we're just going to hit it so that's as far as the puck went from about right here so not too um, too much distance on that one. Now let's try with the green biscuit. So the same thing with the green biscuit, look how much further it went, which is a really big difference. It makes a huge impact when stick handling and practicing stick handling on the concrete. So um, I'm gonna go over a few more things that I noticed about the green biscuit since I've had it um, to maybe help you guys uh, when buying this product. So one thing I found out about the Green Biscuit is that because of the sharp edges that it does have on the Green Biscuit itself is it does cut into your blade if you're using a wrap around and you only tape parts of your blade. So I've learned to tape the end of my blade right here because it will indent on your stick um, just because of how sharp the surface is. Especially when passing or doing any type of stick handling it will start indenting on your stick or your stick tape. Um, Another thing I've noticed is that it, it does flip up uh, based on the surface that you're using on it. So if you're using it on like a really rough um, surface like the road or like there's a crack in the sidewalk, it will hop up on the side, which it's not supposed to do, but when you're using it on a really rough surface, it will. So let's get right into the montage of me stick handling with it.
All right, guys, so as you can see, the Green Biscuit did hold up uh, very easy stick handling. Uh, it does what it's supposed to do. It slides on the uh, on the concrete like it's supposed to, like a puck's supposed to on the ice. So a uh, very great product. I very recommend it to you guys. Um, I'm waiting till I get the uh, Green Biscuit Snipe. Once I get the Green Biscuit Snipe, I'll do a review on that, and then I'll do a comparison video on the Green Biscuit and the Green Biscuit Snipe. Um, but very great product. I recommend you guys go get it from Green Biscuit or eBay or wherever. It, probably your local hockey store has it as well. If you guys have any questions about what's on the bottom of my stick, it is the hockey ice or hockey wraparound ice. Um, if you guys want to see a review on this, it's on my channel. Just go look for it. Uh, very great product as well. I recommend it uh, if you're trying to practice stick handling on normal floor, like the concrete or inside your house or in your garage. So very great products. Um, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment down below.